last year they had like um, the Jumbotron going with like a giant sunset in the background. It was gorgeous. So definitely check that one out. Incredible venue. How, like, how do you score a venue like that? Shout out to Roots. I yeah, believe that's Roots, Roots is so that's good. That's crazy. Yeah, Roots always putting on some of the best tournaments. But uh, shout outs to Mamsa and uh, Carrot as well for putting this on. Mm -hmm. Ohio Summit has been so much fun so far. And I'm excited to get into this crazy set. We're going to have Geist versus Numa. And we did say that they're 2-1 in Geist's favor. But uh, Numa feeling very confident, especially with how close that Andrew T set with Geist was earlier. Yeah, and uh, like I was saying before we went through the break, uh, Pyra's hitboxes are so hard for Bayo to deal with, especially mm -hmm. if she just focuses on like going for retreating back air or like going for those down airs or even honestly an up B out of shield might get her a lot of mileage too. So yeah. guys gonna have to be really careful. Probably gonna have to really focus on grabbing Pyra Mithra versus just trying to trade with her. A you know, especially with like ABK, guys loves to ABK up yes, the corner. So yes. guys he loves his movement. His movement with ABK and the witch twists. It is you won't see it in any other top level bear. That is the Geist is his spectacular movement, and I hope, I hope we see it showcased. Yes, yeah. uh, but starting it off, it looks like Numa, of course, starting with the Mithra, as most Pyro Mithras do. I don't think I've ever seen a Pyro Mithra start Pyro. Yeah, like, you have so. to have terrible <laughs> intentions if you start with Pyro. <laughs> you got to know some stuff. But of course, Mithra extremely fast, extremely hard to deal with. Interestingly enough, they both have Foresight and also uh, Bass Within, so mm -hmm. a lot of these combos are going to have to be really frame tight in order for them to get the big punishes they're used to. Yep, or you're just going to have to do the, the one and two and done, kind of. Mm -hmm. I think this matchup's very interesting because you have Bats Within, but you also have Foresight, too, so they can kind of do it back and forth. Mm. Yeah, they can both just like take turns just breaking disadvantage entirely. It's insane. All right. Pyra's so, out. Yep. Tensions are out too. <laughs> Got to about 89%. It's like dare now kills because it leads to up smash or even up B. So, of course, that is going to be really, really dangerous for guys to have to play with. And there's the first up B. I thought she was going to go over the ledge and potentially uh, take that with that giant arrow hitbox, but just went to uh, the corner instead. Guys living on for a little bit longer here. Yeah, and Geist is very aggressive off stage to Pyramithra, really great in, in um, neutral, especially on stage with having that fast speed on Mithra. But as soon as mm. Geist gets oh. you off stage, it can be curtains trying to use the guns here, but just able to use the uh, the drop Nair there, and it's going to be really hard for for Numa to make it back. Uh, impossible. Yeah, just I giving would say. up there. <laughs> I love the afterburner kick. Like, please stop. Like, please just leave. Oh, Geist will chase you down off stage. Mm -hmm. He has no problem doing it. Right, using the bats to get back to center stage. And I love Geist's gameplay because he's kind of campy in a way, but it's with his movement. Like, he waits for you to swing at him, and it's not like he's just disengaging constantly, but he's waiting for you to mess up, and then he goes in. But, ooh, yeah, that up air there, gonna take Geist's first stock in pretty even percents here, starting out at this game one. Yeah, and the hitbox on it is just so generous. Not gonna be able to find the double up air. Fair string there for Geist. Uh, that certainly would have killed Numa, if, even if not by the knockback, but just recovering would have been so difficult. But Whoa. Numa firing Whoa. back with an Numa. incredible Mithra combo out the corner. Okay, Numa's Geist. like, your combo's my combo now. Right. <laughs> Guys struggling to make it back, but that fair is going to be such a strong tool for picking there at the ledge and pushing Numa off. Okay, using the ABK as well, just a really good burst tool. And a lot of the time we're seeing Numa land with a lot of aerials. So if we're able to see the ABK contest against that, can be a good way for Geist to make the situation kind of his favor. I like that right there. Going for the dare and then Ooh. retreating for the up air kind of gave Geist like false sense of security on when he can get back to the stage. Really, really tricky ledge trap coming from Numa here. And Numa does have a, an okay lead so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with Bayo at zero, the Mithra combo routes are, are pretty open. Mm -hmm. Mithra can easily get 30 or 40 off of something. Right. And uh, guys, yeah, of ya. course, getting that witch time. We haven't seen him go for it once this set, but he just pulled it out in a very, very smart time there to take that stock. But yeah, Mithra's aggression is so hard to deal with, even with the character like Bayonetta with witch time. All right. Oh, oh the wow. up B Ooh. landing on the platform too, pushing Geist off stage. And using this fair to try to get a combo started. Guy's not really find any, finding anything, though. We're so used to seeing like those zero-to-death combos, but so far the, the foresight has been super clutch for Numa, just avoiding these death, these death uh, combos. Yeah, she even switched into Mithra specifically to turn foresight back online. Wow. And not oh, going to wow. kill just yet, but very, very close to taking this game one for Numa. I was surprised I got the kill speed on that back guy. Nice tomahawk, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, trying to use the jab. The gentleman on Pyra is going to be very strong, so you do have to be careful about that at the ledge. And using the large hitboxes on fair is a really good way to kind of swap Bayonetta out of the air. But as long as Geist is able to make it back to center stage, he only Ooh. has to really worry about the up beat and the up smash. 
Nice. Ooh, no way. That movement okay. was so sick. That movement was so sick. Bye, guys. Incredibly clutched back here. Not, none of us saw that coming. That no. was really smart. Guys was way down there. Got there quick. I love the way he played in that last hit scenario, too, or that last hit scenario for him, at least, because you see him start a combo, and if it was even vaguely not true, he would immediately disengage, because mm -hmm. if she were to find, like, a nair at a disadvantage or an up B, he knew he would die, so he's just like, all right, I'm not going to commit to this. I'm just going to, like, bait you into punishing these options, and then I'm going to continue my pressure. Does anyone know where Steve is in the bracket? Steve is in winner's finals yeah, in the bracket. Yeah, he's sitting in winner's finals, plays the winner of this set. Mm -hmm. yes. Going back to small battlefield. But yeah, that was a really good game for Numa. I think that back air just really kind of just stole it from her a little bit, I would say. Yeah. Oh no, could this be the start of something? Ooh. Okay, but SDI is towards uh, center stage there, and it actually saves Numa from that combo. A lot of the time you'll see that witch twist into like pushing off stage, and with the fair can be lethal. So mm -hmm. uh, Numa definitely aware of uh, how important SDI can be against Bayonetta. Especially considering that Mithra's recovery is pretty lackluster and really easy yes. to stop. So very good presence of mind from her, and very good SDI in general to even be able to move herself over there. Mm -hmm. As a fast follower, I know that side is definitely more important. Oh, yeah. So so you definitely need it, especially as Mithra, because Pyra's disadvantage is not great. Right. She doesn't have access to foresight. You're going to get hit when you're Pyra. Exactly. Like, she's at best going to nary out a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. A big thing that we saw in the Geist Andrew T set is a lot of the time Geist is using a lot of these specials in the air. And when you're landing with that, you're going to land with a lot of special lag. So Geist will use the witch time to land. Mm -hmm. And if you're able to get a read on that as Pyra with like a down air, you can steal stock super early with like down air into up smash or uh, even down air into up air at certain percents as well. So do have to be careful about the way that we're landing as Geist. But holding on to the stock, able to make it back with the ABK here to the ledge. Yeah, speaking of stable socks, that back yeah. here almost did it coast to coast. This is going to be a really hot set. I, I hope we get ourselves another Ooh. Game 5 juicer here. I hope we do too. Nice, oh, nice. nice. down air. Uh, Clean play from Numa. That was so good. Okay. Just camping out under the platform <laughs> there. And then I loved there. it. Yeah, that was cute. I love that Numa just stood still right there. You mm -hmm. can just see the patient on her. Great. Yeah. Struggling to find the punish too. The platform actually coming in clutch for mm -hmm. Numa, but that back air going to take the first stock. Sitting pretty even here. Using the fair from ledge is going to be a great tool for Geist, too, to get these early percent combos. This has to be just such a stressful match. I feel like both of these characters are so insane. They both break disadvantage in the same way. They both rack up damage in the same way. This is just a really, really high stakes match for both of them. But this should be it. As you said, like the forward air being lethal, it almost was. I think the Witch Twist might do it. I don't know for if sure can make it here. Yeah. 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 Yeah, just because I feel like Numa did a great job of holding onto her jump that entire time, but it just doesn't matter because Bayo is so lethal offstage that she can just reset the situation and do it again. Yeah, she was positioned well. She didn't take the bait and go for like a panic side B, but all that aside, Geist is just so incredibly good at edge guarding that yes. Numa just kind of ran out of options. And you can't afford to burn resources offstage as Aegis. You just can't. Yeah. You have to keep them as long as possible. Geist knows that. And he's there to capitalize when you use your last resources. Honestly, even though recovery's not great, ever since we had that set with the uh, Black Twins and uh, Icy Mist, yeah. I've never slept on the recovery again. We saw Icy Mist, or we saw uh, Black Twins recover from like the far bottom left of the blast zone with oh, Mithril. We were like, okay. That was insane, yeah. After getting like that. Zared in, with Samus and all this stuff. So yeah. I don't sleep on the recovery that much anymore, but yeah, either way, Geist very locked in on exactly what it needs to punish when it comes to them being off stage. Not got a huge lead just yet. Uh, definitely doesn't want to overcommit because, again, at these lower percents, things are not necessarily going to be true, and she can just nair if Geist isn't, like, super on the main. Oh, what's, yeah. the, what's the opening here if you're Geist? Just going to let you land. All right. Oh, okay. Ooh, Wrong yeah. decision. Good coverage. I mean, honestly, that hit the entire top platform there, so wasn't a whole lot that uh, uh, Geist could have done in that position. Mm. Geist does that so consistently. Comes off the respawn platform with a invincibility and just immediately f smashes. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. I love when he does it on the platform too because he's expecting people to jump and then is able to get the punish too. But able to clutch up with the shield there and not going to get hit with that f smash. Numa going for the down air though and doing a great job of controlling this platform. Geist is just consistently locked at the ledge and really struggling to find these counter hits that he's known for. Right. Oh, finds the ABK. That was really important here. Mithra got a side B, but she is able to tag Geist. Geist also had to tag. That could have been rough uh, if he was off on the air dive signing there. Could it have been? It's Bayonetta. Yeah. It's Bayonetta. Well, <laughs> could have been. Ooh, geez. Pulling out the toolie. Patience here at the ledge from Geist. But Numa's been very consistent about finding Geist, yep. too. Yeah. 
Killing off the top there with the back here. But Numa, like, every time that Geist is shielding at the ledge, uh, Numa just runs up and grabs. And that's really good awareness there. Recognizing that up out of shield from Geist is going to be a really strong tool, especially for getting combos started. So just not even giving Geist the chance is a, a really good play there. And that was kind of, like, my initial, like, thought for what Geist needs to do in this matchup because Pyra and Mithra are both so scary out of shield. Uh, and Bayonetta is so comfortable normally, like, pressuring your shield, crossing mm -hmm. your shield up, or doing this, that, and the third, witch twisting. So um, she gets a lot of mileage out of, like, Geist being wrong on Numa's shield. So it's it's good that Geist already has that level of Yomi figured out to just know, like, oh, I know you're afraid of my pressure. Or you're, I know you're looking for a punish for me pressuring you, so I'm just going to keep throwing you. Yeah, and sticking with the Pyramithra from Numa as well, it does have a Kazuya that's pretty well practiced, but... Um, I think both games have been very close that a change isn't really necessary. I think just being able to uh, find the kills on Geist is going to be very important. Yeah, Nua's been in every game. Yeah. Every game she's been in it. Yeah, they've all been really close, but Geist is just very good in those uh, final stock situations. Ooh, it's, that, it's that top ooh, player intuition. The guns. I don't know if that was on purpose, but... Uh, I don't think that side B was on purpose, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> very, very ooh. cautiously avoiding that down air for Geist. Every time the platform moves since you guys yeah, said something about tame. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Kind of got a little bit uh, interrupted there. She couldn't really edge, uh, air dodge up like she wanted to out of the fear of Bayo. So of course, Geist going to take that stock. No problem. Sitting pretty at 56% uh, here. Man, Geist's uppies uh, out of shield are so incredible. We talked about them just a little bit ago, but th that's exactly what this opening stemmed from. Yes. It's a sweet 69%. Are you I kidding me? Love mm -hmm. the combos that we're seeing from Geist, where he's just using the uh, the up special out of shield into one or two hits, and then just resetting the situation <gasps> and finding another up special. That was insane. That kill? Oh that my goodness! Was wild. <laughs> that was a fast back air. I don't even think that was a town and city thing. Whoa! What Ooh. angle of up tilt was that? Okay, just resetting the situation. This is the second back air though, but able to get the witch twist to just reset the situation and oh going insane oh my gosh. right now. He's crazy. Even and finding the dive yeah. kick, that was wild. Is Numa going to be able to hold on to the stock and tie up percents, potentially even taking the stock first, especially with the kill power of Pyra? But just disengaging, sitting at 140, can't afford to get hit with one of these Geist back airs. Right, and or an up to. Yeah, or an up you can yeah. see Geist setting up for it as well, mostly approaching with his back towards Numa. Nice. Ooh, okay. Crazy neutral B right there from Numa. Here we go. Up oh, smash. I told yeah, you. Yeah, I told yeah. you. Max Rage too, immediately taking that lead back. And it, it, it's good for uh, Numa to have been able to keep her composure like this too, because there have been so many situations where Geist will witch time and be wrong, but still get the bats within and stay safe. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very easy for, to get frustrated in situations like that, but Numa is just playing so cautiously on the second stop. Now the downside Ooh, with range, rage, we just saw a kill there, but also your combos, they're not necessarily going to exist because mm -hmm. you have a lot more knockback on your moves. Numa's so greedy, he keeps switching Ooh, back to Ooh. Pyra. Sitting at 186 here, yeah. Yeah. Geist able to just pinpoint that back air right on uh, Mithra's head, and this is pretty even. Geist can rack up 60% pretty easily, but we've seen that Numa's been very clutch with the foresight as well. It's also a shame how scary we thought that side B was going to be for Mithra, and now we're like, actually, it's just kind of her worst move at this point. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, Geist wanted that up B to send uh, Mithra to the left right there. So bad to edge guard. I like that down tilt in the neutral B. All right, here comes the Pyra. Tried to find the down air on the ABK, doesn't get it. Got to make some really careful plays here because Geist is foaming at the mouth to take that stock early on Town and City. And a big thing that Geist is known for is using that ABK from uh -oh. the ledge, but a lot of the time Numa's sitting in shield, so it's not going to really work out for Geist. He's not able to get the reversals that he's looking for and send Numa off stage. Ooh, Ooh love that just grab. running away. That was so good. That was such a good way to just break up the chaos right there. Pyra yeah, loves a kill? to scramble. Yes. Wow. Not even like remotely hmm. safe from that. I think put, putting that on the platform right there was so yeah. clutch, too, because mm -hmm. like she had no option but to tech, so that move is just active for so long. There's nothing you really do about it. But yes, the way he backdashed away from that up air was so crazy. <laughs> I honestly thought he won the game over that interaction, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Numa on the board, though. Yeah, Numa yeah. got one. She's looking to ride this momentum, hopefully getting another one, and then hopefully for all of us, we see another game five. Yeah, that's what yeah, I, I, know. I want to see game fives from here. <laughs> It's also crazy that Numa won that game on Town, too, because mm -hmm. I feel like Town has been, like, Geist's favorite stage this this entire bracket, so. 
Oh god, Bayo is so scary. Oh, I was yeah, playing with no. him yesterday, and he said that Town, Smashville, and Hollow were like the or Town and Smashville at least were top two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's thinking about it though. That's probably why he left it open. He he was probably hoping that yeah. Numo would take him to Town. Mm -hmm. it just didn't work out. Take him to Town. <laughs> Okay, we got the Tekken music though. Always picking Karma and Geist Classic. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, this was like my favorite song when they added the Tekken music to the game, and I think Geist has worn it out. I'm so tired of commentating the <laughs> sets. He uses it every freaking game. Listen to something else, please. Is, is that T Pain video? Do something else! <laughs> we already heard this! Do something else! He worried out, I can't listen to it at the gym or anything anymore. Damn, that sucks. It's such a banger. It Speaking is a of banger. T Pain. T Pain's latest album was dope. Oh, I didn't know cover album. That. It's an entire entire cover album. I will be watch, listening to that on the drive home. Came out like a couple months ago. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tap in for mm -hmm. sure. I like the Battlefield Switch. I feel like Pyramithra gets more off these top platforms than people think. Uh, honestly, even up B out of shield isn't bad here just because it, of like how high that is when that yep. hits you. It's Geist counterpick, though. I know. Yeah, so it's like working out more for Pyramithra right now, able to get that extension off the top platform. Oh, good patience right there. Ooh. Great presence. Four smash, yeah, right yep. Right in the face. That is not safe. Numa can't be doing that. Yeah, I mean, the reversal was a very good idea, but Ooh, guys just had okay. covered. And that top platform, I was just saying, Pyramithra is really scary right up there. You know, we were actually talking about, like, nice charging the forward smash to try and catch jumps from the Angel platform earlier. Well, maybe just taking page out of that book, really. Yeah. Okay, I like that from Numa disengaging and waiting for the tech on the platform, able to get a nair, but guys firing back with a lot of damage here. Mm -hmm. Just snapping straight to the ledge with the upbeat from Mithra, which is probably the best thing that you can do as a recovery in this matchup. For sure. And we've seen really good recovery attempts, even the reversal upbeat right there from Numa, trying to get oh. some semblance of control off stage, but Geist is just a monster, consistently resetting the situation. Now, up tilt out of shield is going to lead to a two stock lead for Geist. Numa really on her uh, winter side life at this point. That's the guy's tried and true up tilt. Mm -hmm. Taylor's old as time. The classic. Okay, just using a grab as a get off me, making this Numa situation, trying to catch a landing on the platforms, and having that speed is super beneficial for Mithra as well. Guys just kind of have to play, uh, has to play a cat and mouse here, really struggling to find a landing option. Oh, oh that's it. Up smash that. <laughs> yep, that'll do it. Yeah, especially being on top of that platform. If it wasn't going to kill before, it was definitely going to kill from that mm -hmm. part of the stage. Okay. Great spacing on the dash attack. Another super close game for Ooh. these two. Oh my god, the way Geist resets is just so incredible. He's be study. Great god, foresight. that was so good. Great foresight from Numa. Numa. You needed that to live. Yeah, and just waits out the witch time there as well. Tries to find the F smash on the ABK to the ledge, but it's not going to work out. We have seen that uh, Numa's been consistent with finding the down air as well, so something to keep in mind while we're on uh, Pyra, which here's the switch Here we go. now. Here oh. it is. Uh, run, girl! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she was running away in which time. <laughs> it's, oh, oh, that's that it. it! That was it, right? Yes, that definitely would have sealed the stock out for Numa. God, that was so close. And again, just struggling to find a landing. Uses the dab kick to get to the other side of the stage. Now Geist with his back towards center, but overextending off, lane, uh, off ledge, giving Numa the opportunity to reverse this. Ooh. The back end! Oh, oh my oh, god! No. No sparks or nothing, oh. just gonna do it. And there's that game five. Yeah. yeah. You know what, we saw 1-3-0, we said, we want a game five, and everyone else said, aye, aye, captain. <laughs> and that is, every other set we've had has been a game five, which Very is rare awesome. that uh, players actually listen to commentators. Very rare. Very rare, very rare. And they should. <laughs> Our whole job is to study this game. We're always right. Right. Nah, I'm a professional yapper. <laughs> Yappuccino, if you will. Yep, I just be saying stuff. <laughs> Well, yeah, Kirby back here does 112. And yeah, I, go, okay. I think that, uh, that Mithra's strongest move is probably her jab. It's got a lot of knockback. <laughs> <laughs> it's so slow. It's frame 40. I'm like, all right. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm very, very frame data guy. I'll believe anything. You just throw a number out there, I'll say, yeah. Like, <laughs> I was like, I don't I be really like Ganondorf. I think he's got like some of the fastest frame data in the game. Oh my god. And he looks cool. I'm so happy Ganon Rufus. That's slow. actually a fact. <laughs> he looks cool. He does. <laughs> we, they should have gave us uh, Tears of the Kingdom Ganon, though. Girl, no, I would not be allowed to play this game. <laughs> I, I, I'd have been barking at the screen. <laughs> game 
five. So, uh, <laughs> Witch Twist, of course, a very good out of shield option and gonna put so much pressure on Numa. She's had a hard time punishing it, and it's a hard move to punish in general, mm -hmm. but uh, Geist has really had a lot of mileage on it, especially over here at the ledge. Geist is so comfortable in the corner. Yeah. So comfortable. Okay, but there's that grab again. A huge percent off of it. These low percent grabs from Mithra are gonna be very important for racking up percent against Bayo because it's very hard to find the hits on her to begin with. Right. Okay, her SDI is insane. Yes. How is she doing this? Yeah, I, I was listening to Numa talk about SDI when talking about like a Cytonic set earlier, and I was like, oh, if she has to play against guys. Oh, Ooh, but SDI is wow. not going to matter against that. Able to use the fair train off the side to take this first stock. Yeah, great response, too. I don't think that witch was into the angle guys was looking for, and they were like, honestly, this is fine. Still got an answer here. Guys just action. reacts to whatever hitbox comes out, whatever move. You know, honestly, <laughs> truly. <laughs> We were also talking about earlier how Geist is one of those players that when he gets mad, he plays so much better. <laughs> that he's like, he's like a boss battle that you unlock the second phase yes, of. Yes. I do not envy Numa in this <laughs> set so far, just because Geist is definitely locked in with the whole stock lead here. Oh, oh that's so wow. unsafe. Yeah. That back air could have done it too. And you see Geist got a pretty comfortable position, doesn't want to overextend, wants to keep this lead for sure. And finding really good punishes now with these uh, ABKs. Mm -hmm. Numa's just getting really caught up by him. Mm -hmm. Triple jump? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, Bay was fine. Okay, maybe not. Uh -huh. Not on that F tilt though. Yeah, you see guys try to go for that ABK off the ledge a lot, and with Pyramithra being a taller character, it, sometimes it'll work, but that was great spacing there from Numa, just standing back a little bit further and able to get the punish with the F tilt too. All right, we're getting some really good damage out here. Numa's fighting back, only about 50% down here. I think Numa's positioning around ABK has been really good. Mm -hmm. Like, even if they don't get a hard punish, they're at least not getting tagged by it in the corner. Mm -hmm. The other positions, not so much, but uh, Geist definitely gotta be a little careful coming off ledge against Numa. Oh no, Geist is going to chase you down off stage. Oh, maybe not that time. Another really good recovery. Wow, great side too. That was scary, because if it didn't work out, if guys did not get hit by that, mm -hmm. Numa was in a very precarious situation. Mm -hmm. Unarmed, even. Yeah. It's like when you get hit with fear in Baldur's Gate and you drop your weapon. God, <laughs> the worst <laughs> mechanic, dude. I've had, back here? I've had whole characters die over fear in Baldur's yeah. Gate, but I'll, I'll get to that later. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me so mad. Ooh, okay, just dancing around these platforms, looking for an in, but using the bats within to avoid it. And yeah, Numa being so clutch, terrible angle. Yeah, that was yeah. so ugly. But yeah, it uh, doesn't even matter. Not able to make it back from that. Yeah, she definitely wasn't ready to be at that at all. But still, considering where we were a little bit ago, Numa really brought this back, and this mm -hmm. is still very, very close. Especially if we start to see her uh, switch over to Pyra and just start retreating with those up airs again, or even mm -hmm. a back air. Yeah, lots of heavy hitters and losers too, so you want to hold on to your winner's stocks as long as possible. You have Scoops and Dawn down there. Don't want to deal with either of them. And no. also, if Numa takes the set, the set count between Geis and Numa will be even as well. Ooh. And so there's a lot number, on the line. Mm -hmm. And Geis is number two seed, right? Yes. yes. Number two seed being in losers this quote unquote early. Ooh, that's. Ooh, not a pretty sight for anyone. That'd be angry Anthony. But right now, Anthony got a lot of damage here. 85% on this final stock for Numa. She has got to find some way to take this stock. But right now, Geis is just kind of locked in. Geis is just letting Numa throw out these big aerials and just with punishing. Oh my or goodness. Grabbing. This could be it. With punishing and grabbing. That is all Geis needs to keep doing to yeah. keep this lead. Have to be careful about the. Pyra Woo. up tilt as well. Lots of kill power on it. It's good at calling out landings. It's also good at calling out rolls, too. Mm -hmm. Such a large hitbox. Ooh, nice. able to use the run up, up smash there to take Geist's second stock. And now we're on last stock. Numa at 130. Oh Ooh, my there's god. Geist with, the, with the smash attack off the platform. The classic, right? We mm -hmm. talked about it earlier. <laughs> After the taunt, too, I was like, don't do the thing. Oh, no. <laughs> Not the thing. Ooh, okay, using the Nair from ledge there from Numa, getting some extra percent, but could this be it? Is Geist going, no, getting hit towards center stage. Geist just landing on the platform, but Numa consistently just ready. That, oh, oh, what? It missed? Wow! It missed! SDI goddess, Jesus Christ, Numa, I can't believe she got out of that. There's that ugly angle, but it might come into benefit of Numa just because she got sent from the other side of the stage. Numa's recoveries have been amazing the past, like, minute. I don't know how she does it. Oh my gosh, Numa has nothing to lose Just here. Just let Pyra rip. only a game to win. Just let oh! Pyra rip! Oh no! Oh, this is so close! 
bayo has got to find this kill here. She has to. The witch time. Whoa. Oh my god. Can she recover his Mithra? Okay, guys, getting One the more witch opportunity. Whistle. Sending it back out. That might do One it. More. Oh my what? god. The magnet hands are insane. Four will kill, do right? it. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh my okay. gosh. Wow. Guys, I drink too many Red Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of these juicer sets. <laughs>